All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to create lists. We're going to talk about regular lists, where you recommend different accounts that make cool stuff to other people, and how to find lists full of cool people to follow, like artists, or maybe you're a history buff or something like that, along with how to create and how to find moderation lists so that you can block known bad spammers or people like that that might be trying to uh, steal your info, your credit cards, or whatever. Stuff like that. That's what we're going to cover today. So lists, at least the, the first ones we're going to talk about, are the ones that are on your homepage. And these are publicly shared lists of people that you recommend other people follow. That's really what it is. And so we can create a list. We can call this um, fun comic artists because there's a lot of comic artists that I've been following lately on here. Um, a list of the funniest comic artists on the web. You should follow and check them all out. And then you can also click on this to upload a picture to represent this little list. And then you can hit save. Now from here, there's clearly nothing in the post section because there's nobody been added to this list yet. But I can go to the about section where it talks about what this list is about and I can start adding people to it. So I can type in um, comics. And then I can add people who are related to making comic and comic related content. And then I can click done. And once I've added people to this list, then it'll start to populate the posts section with stuff that they have recently posted. This is basically like creating your own custom feed of content that you can look at through a list. So you can see sort of like what everything that they're doing and all of that. And I can pin this to my profile. If I pin this to my profile and go to my profile, the Larry Chupacabra profile. Maybe I have to reload it um, for it to show up, but it should. Here you can see the list that I've made. If I go to the list section, I guess I don't know how the pinning works necessarily, but it's supposed to pin it to your profile. So when people see you, they can see what you recommend for content. So here's my little list and then you can click on this and then people can follow it and they can see all the stuff that's on there. I can also unpin it. I can edit the contents of it. I can share it directly with a link or I can delete this list. Well, first I can, I can remove the list from my feeds if I want so I can keep the list, but not see the list or I can just delete the list entirely. So it's all completely gone. Now, if you're interested in finding a cool list, you can go and search for them as well. You can say, um, sci-fi artists. So if you look for a list of people, you can find things like this. These, there's a couple different things, actually. This is what's called a starter pack, where you can kind of get started by following a few people. They work similarly to lists where you can look at them. and You can see by looking at the posts, kind of a, a cross section of all the content that, that they make. And then here's a list of all the people who are on this starter pack. But unlike a list that you follow, that's sort of like its own individual um, feed. This is more about sharing a list of people for you to follow directly. So you can either click follow all or you can follow them individually. But what I'm looking for is like a list like this where you can follow this list. You can look through all of so I can pin this to my home page. And then I can follow and look at all the different posts that these people do. And these are links to all of the different people who are involved with this fantasy art group. And here you can kind of see all the different content that they make and all of that good stuff. I can also unpin this as well. I can remove this from my feeds. Pinning it lets me keep it in my feed section here but I can remove this from my feeds or I can unpin it and all that good stuff. So you can find lists of people. You can create lists of people. It's a way that you can share your recommendations on blue sky. Basically now 
The other lists that a lot of people want are the moderation lists. And what is a moderation list? So moderation lists in general are for you to preliminarily ban, well, not really ban, but block people from showing up on your feed and to mute people as well so you can't see them post as well. So I can create a moderation list. Let's say I want to um, known crypto scammers. This is a list of people who want to steal your money using crypto. And then I can save that. And then I can add people to this list. Let me just type in crypto. I don't necessarily know that these people are bad. I'm just using it as an easy to search for example. So I can add all these people to this list. And then these are all known, you know, like we'll say these are theoretically crypto scammers. And now what you can do is you can subscribe to your own list or other people can also subscribe to this list as well. And what you can do is you can subscribe to it and you can determine if you want to block all of these accounts or just mute all of these accounts. So you just don't see them posting. And similarly, you can then go around and you can share this list with people with this link, or they can just search for it as well. You, they've got all sorts of block lists that you can search for. If you go to the search settings, and then you can search for block list. And then you can find all sorts of lists of people that have got stuff together. And here's a block list that you can subscribe to. And then you can determine if you want to block these accounts or mute these accounts. And you can search for known lists of people that like scam or people that post uh, the types of content that you don't like. Like maybe you really don't like comics about cats riding unicycles, whatever. You can kind of create a list and then follow it and determine if you want to preliminarily block those people or mute those people. And similarly, if I go back to my settings and go back to my moderation lists, I can click on this list and let's say I don't want to use this anymore or whatever. Um, I can remove people directly from this list by clicking on them and then clicking remove for one. The other thing I can do is I can just be like, well, I don't really need this list anymore. All these accounts got deleted, let's say. Uh, and then I can delete this list the same way as I made the other list. So that's a brief look at how lists work inside of Blue Sky. Uh, they're kind of handy. They're in a unique way to share both people to follow and people to moderate and block. That's just a good way of looking at it. There's also popular lists out there that you can find linked to on different websites that you might be interested in, especially when it comes to art and creativity. And you can also find a lot of people that want to block certain individuals and certain groups of people that are also shared out there in the cyber security and other groups. So hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.